Man, dude, there was I like I'm gonna stay very quiet. Okay. Stay very quiet too. I have no idea what's happening in this okay. show, you guys. <laughs> like, I just don't what? understand anything. So a lot. What? There was a lot of talking, and then a huge setup. There's that, so uh, much talking. A huge setup that last part too. So I don't know uh, a lot of things to dissect through. I guess like I'm trying to remember the order. I mean, uh, there's 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 things that I do want to talk about, but yeah, I'm trying to remember in order. We had the. Basically, we had so in the beginning we had like we had like super the, the trio of Subaru, Odo, and Garfield like, getting ready to go to the mansion, and then basically revealing that like yeah like Odo like he he did he made that the the deal with, with Ram, and then I guess more about um Amelia Amelia the interaction of Amelia and, and and Ram as well, um basically I do from Amelia and Roswell's interaction we do know that he definitely he definitely wants her just or well i guess amelia still wants to do the royal selection like we mentioned a couple episodes ago like i guess they're still mm-hmm. bringing that up and well, now we kind of wanted her to do it in the first place like i they think they wanted her to win it become the next ruler yeah well he mm-hmm. always wanted it but i think now amelia is finally she's finally like determined to do it i think she was she felt more obligated to do it before but now i think now she's like she feels like she has more reason to do it and then one of the big revelations we learned was that uh that wait did we, did we know before that Roswell was the one that basically like um invaded like, attacked the demon family demon or family? whatever did we know that before or was that this episode they revealed it I don't think we uh, did I didn't remember that ever okay. being said I was but yeah my memory is <laughs> horrible from season one okay stuff, so, so I feel like I feel like that was like if it wasn't revealed before that was a big reveal that like because we kept we kept thinking that that Ram was like just following Roswell this whole time. Like and then final, I guess it's just to get back at him for revenge, for the attack, mm-hmm. which is still it's just again it's just this guy is just fucked up. Like I always hate this clown. He, like <laughs> fucking he, clown, yeah. dude. <laughs> like he sent Elsa to the sa- to assassinate. The- Wait, was he the one who also sent Elsa to assassinate Amelia in the first place, or was that someone else? Yes. Wait, oh Amelia, the- it must have been oh, him, right? Yeah, it's um, always been him. I nothing think has been confirmed. Been- nothing has been confirmed, but it it is possible. Okay, so because I. I feel like well, well definitely he sent he sent Elsa to the mansion and, and he's also responsible for like the attack on Rem Rem and Rem's like family mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. I don't know like I don't know what this guy's deal yeah and, and just like I think he was gonna kill like Ryuzu to like unleash the 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 spell all because this fucking book told him to for his simp that he got yeah the for, book of wisdom or whatever so which I thought was yeah. funny too that That's how a... how like he said him and Subaru are the same which. <laughs> Looking back, they kind of are, but I guess Subaru has mm-hmm. o- overcome it. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I really liked seeing this different side of Ram in that interaction between her and Amelia of, you know, putting that faith in Amelia, who she blatantly just said, like, yeah, before this, like, I really didn't trust you for anything. And like, I didn't respect you at all. Um, and now her finally, you know, saying, like, hey, I see you, you know, you're facing kind of your your history and your, and your, you know, your past and stuff. And now you're really putting your best foot forward to bring to what Ram thinks is like, you know, the right way of doing things. And if that also kind of aligns with Ram's wishes to save Roswell. And I thought it was kind of interesting. Like you said, David, where now that we know that Roswell was the one that originally like came to Rem and Ram's village and, you know, basically wiped them out or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess is it safe to say like is does Ram kind of have like a Stockholm syndrome for Roswell? I don't know. Like I don't know. Uh, I can't because I don't know why she wants to save him. Then like it would be it would be with, possible with that... because yeah. after the attack, you know, he did take him in, right? But so, yeah, I thought they were saying like she did that just so like he she'll wait for her moment to attack him for revenge. Yeah, so that's why I thought it was really weird because yeah, at, later in the episode, like that is the main kind of cliffhanger is their final like face off where. Literally at the beginning, it was, hey, Amelia, like, can you make sure that Roswell gets his wish and you save him from the path that he's going down right now? Because that's destroying him. But then later on, it's like, hey, Roswell, I'm going to destroy you. And it's like, wait, you know, how can you have it both ways? You want your cake and, you know, you want to eat it, too? Like, how's that going to work? Yeah, that's 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 what I was confused about, too. I just don't know her real intent. So. Uh, real yeah. quick, uh, I'm just going to do a quick shout out. We forgot to uh, shout out Yehu Satori again for joining us oh, again yeah, right. uh, for a comment on our YouTube Thank you. video. Thank you, man. Yeah. I hope to see you uh, <laughs> next week. Keep them coming. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. 
And thank you, Joker, uh, for joining us as well for this part. And I apologize, we are ruining everything for you, considering oh, you're on the first season. Oh, we're spoiling <laughs> it. Sorry. Spoiler Wait, warnings. He, 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 it's okay. We already let him know. We said spoilers didn't come, and he, he, he said it's okay. Spoilers, yeah. 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 We're good. Mm-hmm. And then, um, also, the fact that, like, we were questioning, too, where the hell was Puck? So he was in that crystal the whole time. He super escaped the yeah. crystal, too. He, he seems like he's everywhere, in every damn crystal. Like, who is no. who has a contract with him? What is he doing? Like, he's... I thought he was gone when that thing cracked. Yeah, like, I, I, I thought he was going to be gone for a while. What's happening I with thought him? he was gone, too. But oh. he, says, he says he was a stray spirit. So I guess he's, is he sealed in that crystal? Yeah, I think he's he's I in guess, that crystal yeah, now, right? and then by that Wait, crystal not, breaking on Elias' necklace or whatever, yeah, that means that their contract is broken. He's not contracted. That's, that's what I'm but I guess I guess if you're a spirit and you do a contract, you get more power. Otherwise, I don't know what's the point of contracting if if you can have all that power just being astray. So I assume there's yeah. some benefit of being contracted. Uh, mm, yeah, I'm not I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna yeah. assume there would I'm be. I'm kind of torn on on Puck at the end of the day, where you know. I obviously want to learn more about their backstory, but I can't help but feel like Puck is continually used as like a convenient plot device. Because we don't like know. every time they need that extra oomph, you know, Puck comes in and and does Cause, his because we don't know like what, what's like because we thought the whole um, we thought he was the reason why like her memory was sealed, but it was Fortuna sealing it. So mm-hmm. like, so where does he fit in that that piece? Like, like we don't know like how he's like how he's connected to this part too, or how he met Amelia. After even with like the OVA, like we still don't really have much details about how him and Amelia first met, or like when Amelia first got out of the the, the yeah. when she when she got the forest because the OVA yeah. only showed her like when she was when she was like basically same age as right before she met Roswell or something. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All I know though is I I can't wait to see the fight between Garfield and Elsa, <laughs> Elsa. coming next week with those gauntlets or whatever that he he acquired. So. I mean, again, this is this was one of the parts that was uh in the OP, so we were expecting it to happen. Yeah. <laughs> and then I know I think Strand's one that keeps saying like he's one that keeps predicting that uh, Subaru and Beatrice are gonna be get the contract together. I'm pretty sure it's, it, it's a shoe in by now. It's it. like the way they set up at the at ending too. It's gotta be the like right. he's getting the contract. Hey, I called it before the opening, guys. Yeah, you heard so, it here. Yeah, no, no, props to uh-huh. Strand. He predicted. I thought it was, I thought it was gonna be Amelia <laughs> nice. was gonna take over, but I guess it's Subaru, which. So I, I guess spirits. You don't have, you don't have to be a spirit user then to have a contract, unless Subaru somehow yeah. has spirit powers. Or is it really? Is it because like he's like he has the the shadow like the what the yin element that's also the same thing as Beatrice. That's why he can use the, the doors. Maybe will we we will we understand? Will we get to find out? Yeah. Maybe <laughs> find out in, in uh, dude, season three. Season yeah. three. Of dude, this find out next time. Dude, this on three this, zero Z. This was a long. <laughs> I wish I could. Too. Rem- uh, I, I, it was 29 minutes long. 29 actually. minutes and 30 seconds. So, yeah. like, yeah. they got the OPA, I, but it was 29 minutes. Yeah, I, I wish, though, I, I still kind of wish, like, <laughs> the part where I was just like, oh, where I, I call it with uh, with Beatrice and Super. I don't remember even what it was anymore. <laughs> I'm like, what that part, like, what we, I know we, if I went back and watched it, like, one of our previous uh, podcasts, I would, uh, I, I think I I'd be able to figure it out from there. I don't no remember. Idea. It was like, I think it was, I think it was the first part of this year. I think it was summer when, like, when, Subaru loop back. Yeah. He, when he when he looped back mm-hmm. and he had to talk to Beatrice in the mansion, and we got mm-hmm. to see more about her details, her and Akedna. I think that was summer. I think that's how long. Yeah, I think was. it was too. Jesus, yeah. I don't remember. Was it that all. the first time when we learned like uh, Beatrice's book was just absolutely blank, like there was nothing in it? I think was so. that this season? Yeah, okay. I, I yeah, think, it, I think was, it wasn't absolutely uh, the next, like the next chapter or whatever was blank. So was blank. The, okay. The, yeah. Right. Yeah, the the yeah. future was uh, like unsure. Yeah. yeah. And that's when we found okay. out some about Beatrice. And yeah, I, I think that's when I call it when she basically when we found out that she was basically just stuck there. And then I think that we also found out she was a spirit. Mm-hmm. And then I was just like, oh damn! Yeah. I was like, Subaru. <laughs> yeah, because basically part yeah. So part one is basically all of the time loops, and part two is just like the same loop. That's, yeah, I think I'm pretty yeah. sure. I'm pretty sure I was kidding too. I think I I even said like if if Subaru was was gonna like uh um join Beatrice in that way, I think I actually said I was gonna give the show a ten out of ten. But I'm I'm completely Ooh. like, now nah, it's not gonna happen. But because <laughs> I didn't I didn't actually believe it. Wow, wait, go back on your words. <laughs> but did sir. um did Hector get introduced in this episode? Who? That was last episode. That was last the episode. The Devil of Melancholy, the guy who beats the shit out oh, of Roswell oh, that we got I, introduced I, to I in the flashback. I don't remember his title. Yeah. Oh and it's kind of weird of like they show all this stuff and then they literally just pan to the future again. And it's like, OK, so now we're going to have to get another flashback of like, how does Roswell get saved from Hector? Like, and, you know, what does Echidna do to 
save the sanctuary. It, just, it just depends stuff. on how long this fight will be. Like, if it's gonna last the rest of the season or what they gotta do. If because it, it sounds like it sounds yeah. like it sounds like stuff like 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 Pandora. It sounds like that stuff won't be mentioned until like next season or or after this season. Yeah. It's yep. So. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. You mean to tell me that we might not even get Rem back? Nope. Dude, nope. What's nope. Rem coming back? What's Rem coming back? At least Rem Petra back. had the common courtesy to be like, oh yeah, Rem exists, guys. Like, we need to yeah. save Rem. When, you know, Garfield's sister was just like, yo, we gotta get the fuck out of here. And he's like, but, but Rem. And then he's yeah, like, Rem. oh, okay. Dude, me and Petra, <laughs> like, we like this now, you know? Like, we on the same page. What yeah, yeah, about Rem? I know, like, these people have no idea who Rem is, but because Subaru said the name, like, it's gotta be a thing. That's gotta be a thing. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's gotta be real. And, and there, okay, in Subaru and everybody else's defense, though, she does look identical to Ram. So, I mean, mm -hmm. it's not a stretch to think that she's her sister. Mm -hmm. That is fair. That is fair. And she is physically there. So, that kind of helps your case, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. But but yeah, guys, I'm with Petra. What about Ram? <laughs> like, let's let's go save her. We gotta save her. There we go. Yeah, it's okay. I, I think we were pretty much sure that like we like she wasn't gonna wake up, but there's so there's again so many like every episode has like something else that's out there that's not really covered or like you know like, in like it's it's not um like I just don't feel like we're gonna get like a resolution for it. It's just gonna be like a bunch of more questions. Mm -hmm. which, Probably you not. Know, mm -hmm. When you have a yeah. second when you have a second season going on and no confirmation of a third season, it's a great time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My only contribution for this episode, though, is like, uh, but speaking about Petra and how she's the only one that seems to know about anything about Rem or care about Rem. Do we think that she's going to make it? Because I'm really attached to this little girl. She's so cute. ReZero does little kids like so well. They're all just so cute. And I really don't want anything I to happen to her. Not make, I don't think anyone died in ReZero, really, technically. Did they? Uh, this season? Because, like, this season? They did last season. Yeah, last season. Yeah, I don't think anybody's. I don't think somebody's got it this season. I, I feel like the, it's going to be either her or Otto. I don't think any of the villagers <laughs> died, so I don't know. I don't think I don't think okay. they'll kill her off. I don't. It's okay, guys. Yeah. Subaru will save everybody. If one person dies, we're going to reset everything back to the beginning of the second season. Oh my god! Oh, that, that's another <laughs> thing. I too, like, the show. <laughs> like where, Stop, where and then I start reading the light now and be like, nope, yeah. I'm done. Bro, where's the checkpoint? Because he has not died yet, and it's been like what three or four episodes. I'm kind of mm -hmm. scared. Like when he does die, like where is it going to reset? Because it was always um, what was it? It's always after the sink. He was in the sanctuary anyway, so like they can't just go back before then. That we know of. That, uh, I mean, like I feel like that's been the rule so far for zero. It's like you can't go back for yeah, like, the last been. checkpoint, and mm. this last checkpoint is always like the sanctuary. So <sighs> I don't know, man. But I don't know because at at this point, I don't feel like I don't feel like he has many chances to die and finish out the season in a satisfying manner, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what worries me. Uh, I just want to know, like, what is Subaru going to do while Garfield is fighting um, Elsa? Because there's also the the other assassin, right? The like mini Chibi assassin. Oh, I yep. that's I totally supposed to be with her. Elsa. Yeah, so I totally yeah. forgot about her. Now I'm thinking that her. like Subaru is probably going to face off her. Subaru and Beatrice. It's, yep. it, has Subaru, to, it, has uh, say. it has to be Beatrice. Like, <laughs> yep. That's the that's only way to do the pack. This. And it's pretty yeah. glorious. Was yep. the little Chibi one the one that killed Beatrice earlier in the season? No, it was Elsa. I think. Yeah, okay. Elsa. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but she did kind of help distract them. So she I was going to say, it would be very fitting if he was the one that actually killed Beatrice. And then now, you know, the right. tables have turned given the new, you know, scenario. Yeah. I'm going to assume that that's what it's, it's going to be the case. I'm liking the second half way more than the first, season, like first half, though. Even though I like the witches. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of conflicted to be honest, just because I, there's I so just, much going on. It's okay, cool. There's no I just it. treat them as one. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> like jokes aside, right? Season, like, there's like... So, there's so many things going on. I don't know how you're gonna get closure, and I'm the guy that hates it when something ends without closure. <laughs> that's fair. You I mean, know that's, what I mean? That's how I felt about season one. Just felt like like they just ended with just like just that just that scene, and but I felt like there's so much so much miss so much missing from the lore. So yeah, like like. 
what about Pandora? What about Hector the Warlock? And, you know, I don't know if you guys remembered or, like, thought about it, but, you know, the way that Hector talk is how Roswell is talking now. Like, yeah, what's the correlation I noticed that? that the way that Hector dressed is kind of similar to Roswell as well. Yeah. Like, so, like clothing. So, so you're going to throw all this shit at us, and then now you're going back to the to the mansion. Like, hey, like what about that's... the characters you just introduced, you know? That's Ray Zero, man. <sighs> yeah. So, like, yeah I'm, so I, I'm conflicted, you know? Like, because of Rem, I'll give it a 9 out of 10 if it ends well. But Suck it. But, but because of how everything is going, like, it's – it's I don't really know how I feel about <laughs> it. But I'm still enjoying the show. So I, I so, treat first and half, second half just as one just because it felt like it wasn't meant to be split. So – yeah, that's, that's, that that's my true. like. Right, right. That's my. I don't know. I don't know if that's allowed, whatever. That's like, that's how I'm seeing it. So I treated all as one season, and I still enjoyed part one, the first half. So, but Fair enough. yeah, okay. I think that's gonna be it for ReZero. We'll have to do this craziness all over again next week because it sounds like it's gonna be a crazy episode. It's gonna be a great time. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's gonna be it for ReZero. Mm-hmm.